The Delson has the ability to uh, drain in and shoot out smoke, and today we've also shown off Neon. There are other powers he gets, but uh, we're keeping those under our hat so the players have the fun of discovering for themselves when the game comes out. Using neon powers is really good for taking people out at a distance, for kind of uh, looking at a guy's weak points and uh, sniping them. And smoke is great for getting in quick and uh, fighting with people uh, close up and dirty. So Delson actually has a chain on his wrist that kind of becomes a conduit for his powers. So if he has smoke going on, it kind of gets this fiery smoke coming off of it. And when it's viewed with neon, it's it's kind of straighter and more rigid, and he can attack people in different ways depending on what power he's using. If she kills someone's father tomorrow, or mother the day after that, you're the one that allowed that to happen. You know, when you're making choices that are heroic in nature, then the narrative and your powers progression is going to change to reflect that, the way people interact with you. All of those things need to sort of reflect back. And I think that makes that second playthrough just more rewarding. It's not just that I'm seeing the new narrative and just seeing the new powers. I also have to kind of adopt a different play style, and I'm rewarded for different things. So in the game, you get to make choices if you want to be a, a heroic person or a ruthless kind of villain. That affects the story, certainly. It affects powers that you have, how people treat you, and you get to change the lives of characters you meet along the way. In my opinion, the coolest part about this kind of choice in the game is that it affects combat itself. You have to be smart, you have to be thoughtful if you want to be a hero. And if you want to be a ruthless villain, you actually have to get off your butt and scare the crap out of these people. Use your powers efficiently to slaughter them. You know, when we started making the infamous games, we thought, oh, this can be a third-person shooter game. And every time we had anybody play the game, all they wanted to do was punch somebody in the face. As the games have progressed, we've made them more and more about melee because it's just that visceral thrill. You just want to knock somebody's block off. PlayStation.